is NDTV and you are watching NDTV Prime. It's a brand new week and a brand new episode of CNB Bazaar Buzz. I'm Siddharth Vinayak Patankar. This is what we have for you on today's program. The new generation of the Audi A4 finally gets its diesel avatar and we have the review. The annual 21 gun salute vintage car rally. And it's time to head into the desert with Mahindra for the great escape. A4 diesel is part of the 10 products that Audi is bringing into India this year and we've finally managed to get our hands on it. It's finally out of the woods so to say because six months after Audi first launched the next generation of the A4 with the petrol engine in India, the diesel is finally here. And it's here late because, uh, well, it's India's fault. India doesn't have Euro 6 compatible fuel. So Audi had to retrograde the engine to basically uh, make it BS4 compatible. Uh, on the exterior, there are no changes to the car. It's similar to that of the petrol, but at the rear, it gets dual exhaust instead of the single exhaust. And that's the only differentiating factor uh, between the looks basically of the A4 petrol and the diesel. Uh, but what's improved is the engine. And that's what we are about to check out because there's improvement not only in fuel efficiency but also in power delivery. So here's what we think about the car. The new Gen A4 gets a nicely sculpted body and the design can only be described as evolutionary. It looks fresh and the new headlamps with the nice DRLs make it unique. The front grille still bears resemblance to the family but there's a lot of work gone into making this one new as it's lighter by about 120 kgs and there's a lot of aluminium used not only in the structure but also in its suspension setup. It looks more athletic. The cabin of the A4 diesel is the same as the petrol and we'll give it a thumbs up on both material quality and ambience. There's Audi's virtual cockpit too, which is available only on the top spec technology trim. The HD screen gives you a clear view of navigation, infotainment and car information. Yes, of course it has a speedo and tachometer. There's a 7-inch screen on the dash which can hook up to your phone thanks to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Of course, it's Audi's own MMI interface which is extremely user-friendly. Just in the petrol variant, space at the rear isn't a problem too as there's good legroom on offer. But in this one, it's all about the engine and it's the same as the one on the Škoda Superb, but with a bit more of everything. You can fine-tune the experience to an extent thanks to the four driving modes on offer, normal, dynamic, auto and individual, but none actually tweaks the suspension setup of the car. The ride is sublime and it absorbs bumps with ease. It's well damped and absolutely fun to drive. We had our reservations recommending the petrol engine of the A4. It's a good engine, no doubt, but a bit underwhelming for a luxury sedan. But with the new diesel engine, Audi makes a strong statement. The lineup is now complete with a price tag of over 40 lakh rupees. Audi yet again shows that it means business. Now let's talk about the 21 Gun Salute Vintage Rally. It's been on for many years and it brings together not just a whole lot of enthusiasts, but also, of course, a whole lot of really sensational classic cars. There is a whole lot of care as well that goes into maintaining these cars and uh, the quality of the kind of entrance we see just goes up every year. Take a look. The historic car movement in the country has recently gained a lot of momentum. Of course, we have events like the Cartier Concourse that happens once every two years and cities like Mumbai have groups that drive every Sunday. 
And then there is Delhi that holds a very special event at very historically important places every year. So we are at the annual 21 Consolute Rally and uh, of course today is the exhibition day and it's at the spectacular India Gate uh, compound and there are some equally spectacular cars here like this Lancaster in front of me, the really really beautiful Cadillac V12 and a few Rolls Royces that dot this whole lineup. There are of course even more spectacular cars here like the De La Haye which is absolutely phenomenal. It is probably the most beautiful car in the country and a few Pierce Arrows and a couple of Bentleys which are completely noteworthy. But let's talk more about that. Let's quickly take you around to show what India has to offer. And of course, cars from Bombay are here, some from Pune, some from Chennai, and of course from Delhi. So let's quickly take you around and show you what we have to offer here today. The 21 Constitute Concourse and Rally have only been around for a few years, but already has become a very popular event from owners from all around the country. There are cars from Mumbai, Pune and even as far as Chennai you're in Delhi for this event. From open top roadsters, the most sublime Bentleys and Rolls Royces in the country, this event has it all. And then there are a few special cars that came all the way from England to take part in this event. Now in the midst of all this exotic machinery from all around the world, here are two cars which are more humble more grounded and more Indian than anything else here. Of course, this is from England originally and that's from Italy, but well, they were made in India. That's an Ambassador Mark I and this is a 69 Fiat 1100 Delight. Now, if you want to get into the collecting game or classic car game today, these are the kind of cars that you need to look at. They are going up in value and they are taking the fancy of a lot of Indian, major Indian collectors. So, uh, this is a lovely preserved, well preserved uh, example, still in original paint. And that's been restored recently and I think they're absolutely magnificent. The class that really impressed us most was the pre-war American with the likes of the recently restored Cord taking top honour alongside the only Stutz in the country and the impeccable and extremely rare Pierce Arrow. But my personal favourite though was definitely the convertible class with the likes of the stunning Jaguar XK120. Now restoring a car to its original specification is definitely not an easy task, but preserving a car in its absolute original specification like these two here, that's something that's rare. Now this is the mid-30s Cadillac V8 and that's a Lagonda Rapide V12 and they do seem to be pieces of junk, but well, trust me, these are some of the most original cars here. The patina on both of these cars is very original and there's always an urge to paint something or to polish something but the owners haven't done that and for that I think they deserve a round of respect. your average family hatchback, sedan or SUV, these were the average family cars for the American family in the 50s and the 60s. In fact, the Edsel, which is ridiculously pretty now, was actually regarded as one of the ugliest cars ever made. And look at it now, it's just sublime. And the Impala, of course, the most awesome fins that any production cars ever had. These have gone from being normal cars, used by normal people, uncared for, to becoming works of absolute art. I think they're spectacular. The seventh edition of 21 Gun Salute uh, Vintage Car and uh, uh, Concourse Show is uh, now becoming much grandeur than previous shows as this year more than 22 international judges are here. From last three years, we, we were uh, doing this at the Red Fort and Red Fort, historically, that site is superbly um, uh, beautiful. But because of the logistics uh, uh, inconveniences, we thought like, you know, it would be better if we can do, do it here. And people are loving it here. And, you know, we are also very happy that, as it's so easy uh, to reach here and everyone is happy and that today, you know, the weather is so beautiful. Events like the 21 Gun Salute Rally really give a chance to both the owners of these cars to showcase them 
and the general public to have a look at what the real essence of motoring was back in the glory days. We do hope that we see many more of these in the future to keep the historic car movement go on and on in India. Let's slip into a short break here. We come back with plenty more, including answers to a lot of your questions.